Good morning, everybody. It is May 22nd, 2015. I'm Cindy K. Courier, and it is another sunny day at Lake Norman. And uh, you may notice on the map behind me, there are yellow dots on the map, one in Michigan. Then there's a red one in North Carolina. There is a yellow one in Santa Cruz, California, and there is a yellow one in Ogden, Utah. These are people signing the Res Publica of Earth Articles of Confederation, people in groups. And uh, if you want to sign, go ahead and go to Res Publica of Earth.com. Click on Articles of Confederation. You'll see how everybody else is doing it. There's a, a link that says that gives instructions on how to do it. So go ahead and do that. Uh, email it to me and uh, put uh, articles in the subject line and mail it to me at cindyk at gmx dot com. Well, one of the viewers of this channel named Raven Truefeather is an incredible researcher. I'll just say that. She emailed me and, and asked if I was interested in a list she'd compiled for her friends and family that took her forever. Well, I say it took, took her a long time. She took the time to research products and she took each company and each product and examined their uh, standards and how they produce things and their terminology and was able to find out which ones had GMOs which possibly contained nanoparticles. And uh, the list is huge, and I want to share it with you today. And uh, thank you, Raven, so much. Um, it is actually now posted at American Law of the Land under announcements. Ge it's uh, under general post. The title of it is called Products Containing Nanites. It says at the link below you will find a list of products that consumer research confirms, that's Raven's work, um, contain genetically modified elements and possible nanoparticles programmed to activate within the body in response to stimuli or a stimulus directed by the United States military, DARPA. This is part of a human experimentation project initiated by the United Nations headquartered in New York as an aspect as an aspect of Agenda 21, which is a depopulation program. The research for this list was done by Raven Truefeather. Thank you, Raven. So just click on the list, or on the link I mean, and you'll find this list. And your heart may sink because you may find your favorite things on here that you had no idea many craft products, Nestle's products, Procter & Gamble products, Coca-Cola products, you know, Kellogg's, Kraft, Unilever. Yes, your Altoids contain these things, folks. There's toilet paper brands on here, there's Q-tips on here, cereals, Apple Jacks, Cheerios, I'm telling you, you want to look at this list. Bottled water. I'm told that most bottled water contains these things. So what do you do? You get distilled water. And you learn to, to do urine therapy and to recycle your own urine like people in other countries do. People in China do this. People in India do this. It is a healthy practice. It's something good to do. Um, so there you have it. So there are so many products on there that when you look at this, you may say, uh-oh, what are we going to do? Most of the things we use every day are contaminated. That's the reason for gathering in communities, developing a, a community plan, which will include most likely a huge garden where you'll grow your own food and can it for the winter, where you'll grow your own cotton and flax and spin your own wool and yarn and fibers to make your own clothes. And uh, we're learning new things all the time, how our body really works, how, how the architecture 
modern architecture goes to keep our energy fields um, low, to keep our aura diminished. Yeah, square houses are designed to do that. The materials are designed to dampen our energy. So we're learning that now, and people are producing really awesome alternatives. We're shaping our houses differently. So there's, there's a lot going on that's exciting. It's going to require that we each take responsibility for our own health and well-being. And it starts with joining a community with others. So um, avail yourself of that list. I'll put the link to the, the uh, post below this video. And uh, if you want to sign the Articles of Confederation for the Res Publica of Earth, go to respublicaofearth.com. Click on Articles of Confederation. Scroll to the bottom and see how other people have done it. Or click the link that says instructions for how to sign. Mail it to me at cindyk at gmx.com with articles in the subject line. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.